from a typical Viennese breakfast to mushrooms grown in grounds, from coffee beans left behind by the Ottomans, to local specialties enjoyed by all, but with names understood by few. Vienna's coffee houses aren't just for coffee. Join me and find out about the experience that is Vienna's coffee house culture. What is that special thing that has made Viennese coffee house culture such a lasting and treasured experience? It's safe to say that whatever it is, it's about much more than just a drink, and I am determined to find out exactly what that special thing is. We're gonna start this coffee culture experience right at the beginning. I wanted to know what one of the oldest continuously operating coffee houses in the city is, and most importantly, what their secret is. And I found it here, at Café Fraunhuber. The waiters here have perfected, if not invented, that infamous Viennese service charm, which is often delivered with a tinge of rudeness and a cheeky smirk. And the smirk is only the surface of the hidden mood in the atmosphere. The cafe house is all about contemplation and passion. This is a place where people come to spend hours reading newspapers, sketch out artworks and ideas, or engage in intellectual discussions, debate with a stranger, or maybe just spend time with friends and family. All within a luxurious interior for the mere price of a drink. And don't worry about being rushed out or made to spend more. You're meant to take your time. This should feel like an extension of your living room, albeit a highly decadent and historical one. If you're gonna start your day in a beautiful cafe house such as this, with a great cup of coffee, then why not opt for one of the traditional breakfast platters to go with it? We've got eggs in a glass, a Viennese semel or a bread roll with butter, or one of my favorites, sliced bread with chives. These are all just a few of the local favorites. So we've talked a lot about coffee houses, but you may be wondering about the coffee itself. Vienna has a dedicated coffee-making heritage that continues through to today. Local new generation roasteries, such as Jonas Reindl's, have carried that tradition forward while making sustainability and ethical production an integral part of each cup. The new cafe house culture is being kept alive in Vienna's up-and-coming districts, and though the vibe and interiors may look different, attention to style and atmosphere is still a given, as is a good cup of coffee. You may wonder why you get an unasked for free glass of water with each cup of coffee you order. It's because Vienna has some of the best quality drinking water in the world. It comes straight from the Alps, through the tap, and into your glass. And it's that special ingredient that makes the coffee that much more delicious. Taste it and you'll immediately know why. If you needed proof to highlight just how deep and heartfelt coffee culture is here in Vienna, then just take a look at a menu. It's likely that you haven't heard of many of these different types of coffee that appear here on the menu. But each is as unique and subtle as the name that it's been given. The most famous may be my personal favorite, a good old vina melange, which is often mistaken for being the same as a cappuccino. But ah, here is where the subtle difference occurs. A melange is an espresso shot in a large coffee cup topped with steamed and foamed milk. A phalangata, which actually translates into an extended one or an extension, is an espresso with hot water added, and an einspänner is an espresso topped with whipped cream in a glass. See? Easy. And... Tasty. You might get so caught up with the coffee selection that you forget that you can actually order a meal. 
Expect traditional local favorites like a fiaca goulash with a sausage and an egg, or a sacha wurstel, so named after the renowned hotel. Or, may I dare say something that's even more unique, is this mushroom goulash, Dankeschön, with the main ingredient, by Hut und Stiel. Hut und Stiel is a sustainable agriculture project that cultivates edible mushrooms from discarded coffee grounds, of which Vienna certainly has no lack of. Coffee grounds are collected throughout the city by cargo bike and then processed within a building in Vienna's 20th district. The harvested mushrooms are sold to local markets or delivered by bike to restaurants. To finally end up on my plate. With all of the coffee and the goulash and these comfy, comfy seats, I'd actually never need to get up again. But then again, if I never got up, I would never be able to come and take a look at the enticing pastry selection that's waiting for you at almost every single cafe house. Take a pic. It's getting late, but I am not quite ready to go home yet. Instead, it is yet again the perfect time for for a coffee with a little early evening nightlife atmosphere. Oftentimes, when a building gets renovated, its history gets destroyed or forgotten. This is not the case at Café Adlerhof. What was once a small inn diner has since been uplifted and transformed into a tasteful and stunning journey through Viennese time. With tonnette furniture and original 1960s wallpaper up against the wood paneling, the feeling of nostalgia remains. But the menu takes it out of the past by offering international favorites such as ceviche alongside cafe house staples such as dumplings and breads. So I've tried many different types of coffee today in many different places, and I think I finally found the answer and the connection to what it is that makes Viennese cafe house culture tradition so timeless and so beloved. It's the understated comfort and graceful perfectionism in everything from the chairs to the waiters to the coffee itself. It's the allowance for time to pass without having to rush a conversation or a newspaper article or a spontaneous concert in the corner. Café House Culture is about the simple enjoyment of life in and of itself. And that's something that anyone from anywhere can take part in, even if coffee's not necessarily your thing. If you're planning a trip to Vienna and you want to dig a little bit deeper into the city's Café House Culture, then check out the Ivy app. It allows you to look for, search, and learn about all of the coffee houses in the city. And that way, when you come, you can create a coffee house tour all of your own. You can go to our channel and hit subscribe to see more. Until then, I'm Medea, Servus, and love from Vienna.